Investigation part two. Got it. No. Ah. It's not. Huh? Listen up. Noob. Oh God, what did you do to him, you? Installed a new function in Kibo. Uh -huh. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Now you're a glorified flashlight. <laughs> shine on, shine on, shine on, you crazy fucking diamond. Mondo, he ain't. But anyway. It's okay. Okay. I like that shot of him. It could be a JoJo reference, but shine on you crazy diamond is goes beyond just JoJo. But anyway, Let's get everyone's alibis for this. Stop it. What? Because. Maki makes sense here. Okay. Sadly, we have to be kind of cold blooded at this point. I guess. But okay. Is this so there's something down there, huh? Got a minute? Okay. So we need to get under the floor to see what's going on down there, huh? Well, uh, um... And again, we get the thing that the floorboards aren't necessarily nailed down. They're just kind of laying loose on top of the cross pieces. Stop shaking the Himiko. But like I thought. I mean, Himiko did just see both Angie and Tinko die. Probably the two people that would have been closest to her closest friends. Mm. At least at some points. How can this be? And we are down to 10 live people. We're kind of running out of people here. Leave it to me. Can she be a cinnamon roulette? No, I don't think so. She's not quite as uh, upbeat and optimistic enough to be a cinnamon roll. That cannot be. Why did this? I don't know. It's a good question, though. I knew it. But of course. 
Oh. Oh. You're worried about why the seance failed. Well, if nothing else, I don't think the spirit wanted to inhabit a second corpse. Yeah, she, Himiko needs an upgrade. Ah, yes. Um, no. This is stupid. We did it once, it failed, we're moving on. I see, yes. Is that so? So let's recap. Tinko knelt down like a turtle. Kneeling down like a turtle to summon Angie's spirit. Makes sense. Cage over. Rekio put the sheet on there. Then everybody grabbed the statue and put it on. Blew out the candles. Had ourselves a little singing around the not campfire. And it failed! Ah. Also sound. A loud thunk. Apparently. Sounded like something falling over and crashing. What do you mean? Yes. This part bothers you for a few reasons, huh? Kind of like we're getting a surveillance camera shot of the scene. It's kind of what that's like. Hmm. Yeah, that whole first... That is the point, that the whole first chapter proved that being in first person doesn't necessarily mean the game's going to show you everything that happens. It's kind of the... That's kind of what I... One of the uh, gripes I have with that. No. Then... Well, that's... I see, yes. We don't care. Perhaps. I think we would have noticed if somebody opened the door. What's the point? If looks could kill, if looks could kill for calling that a sham. Investigation, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's actually a fair guess. I mean, no. first chapter, the relevant parts were in first person. When we followed Shuichi, when we were as Katie and we followed Shuichi into the warehouse, for example, we were looking through Katie's eyes. 
but yet it only kind of you click on the shot put balls and mention nothing about even reaching in and touching one let alone picking one up and then the then the uh, semi clever bit of being looking through her eyes when Shuichi ran to answer the uh went to check on the alarm going off. All it says was, I dropped everything I was holding and ran after him. We were definitely in first person, but it left out crucial things we did while in first person. Could it be... You know, I kind of got to agree with Mew here. It's kind of hard to believe that Tinka was killed at any other time than during the seance. Because she was clearly alive at the beginning of it. And clearly dead at the end of it. Fucking moron! handy now. Yeah, that used to be the magic circle. We, we kind of, uh, ruined it. Oh, dear. Well... Yes. What? Ridiculous. Um... Please don't continue that sentence. I'm right already. But so what? Yeah, it should be. Hey. He'll never be a full metal alchemist with that, uh, with that attitude. Hmm. If I remember correctly. Damn, Mackie. Just, uh, just really getting savage, aren't you? Uh, um... He kind of deserved it, but you know. I'm kidding. Is this... Uh, okay. Stain on the white sheet. Huh. But. And no hole. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, her stab wound happened when she was underneath the cloth.
I could have picked out a smoother rock, I think. large iron cage and a big old blood splatter across the upper part of it there. Okay. Blood. What do you mean? Okay. Necessarily. Huh? Maybe she was killed the exact moment the cage was lifted? Stab wound that likely caused instant death. Nope. She couldn't have gone. Her death might not have been instant, but couldn't have gone far before she bled out because, well, underneath the cage. Huh? What's the point? Okay. Uh, um... That's obvious. By the way... Yeah, there isn't much in the way of murder weapons up here. Out of its spot among the rest of the boards there. Why? If I remember correctly. Why? But. Hey! 
Hey. By the way. That's true. Okay. Okay. So we're going to move some of the floorboards near the hole, take a candle down, look underneath the floor. Okay. Well... Uh, okay. Bloody sickle. Hmm. I believe we might have found a murder weapon. Okay. Shimichi agrees with me. Is this from Maki's research lab, huh? Huh? Well. Well. That's right. But... It would be very difficult to reach that sickle down to actually hit her, yeah. There's enough cage around her to make that difficult. That's true. She was kind of curled up like the turtle. Hey. That's true. Hmm. Another blood stain, huh? That's a good couple of feet away from where Tinko's blood stain is, huh? Hmm. Same floorboard, different ends. Hey. So it does. Hmm. Ah. Oh. What do you mean? That's true. Okay. Those are completely dry. Hmm. So, part of the cross piece is cut off, huh? That's true. Yeah. That's true. It was cut. Hmm, so someone uh, did some prep work for this. That's odd. Some of the wood just kind of rotted away. All the puns we made caused this. Hey. All the puns going back and forth, they caused it. All of this to happen. 
That's true. Could have, yeah. Cobra could have come in through a different room. Hmm. No. It would have been very difficult moving around, yeah. Nope. Well. Possible they use the light to move around, huh? Hmm. Is that all right? <sighs> By the way. Yeah, you're right. Then, uh, okay, that's actually a good point. Tinko's death is kind of a moot point for us, but at least as far as the trial goes. Hmm. God, what now? Help! It's a lie. God damn it, Kokichi! <laughs> Surprise is a word for it. Huh? Seri what's what seriously, Kokichi? Uh, what's going on? Oh, you you're actually bleeding. Why? <laughs> you went to the other room and stepped through the floorboard, and I assume you busted your forehead open when that happened. Huh? So mean. Got a minute? Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna pass out, tell us what's going on first. Ah. So the floorboard just kind of collapsed because the cross piece was missing in another room? Huh. Ah, dang it. Huh? Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Yeah. Kokichi fell down, hurt himself, and instead of seeking medical treatment, decided to wait out in the hall face down with the blood pooling around his head just to prank us. Kokichi, everybody. Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing game. The killing game just can't be beat. Behold, students. The entrance to the trial grounds. <laughs> Got hopeful, huh?
Yeah, sadly, time is up. Oh. What were you gonna check? Huh? See? Ah. Man. Hmm. God, killing game with microtransactions. At least go wash your face, man. Please. Uh, um. That's true. Do you want to die? God dang it. Maybe yeah, I imagine if Kaito saw him. Bloody Kokichi. I agree. Yeah. Okay, see you later, Anonymous. Well, at least you washed up. Mm. Hmm. What? Are you okay? Ah. Yes, she does. I don't know. <laughs> that being said. Acceptable. Savage. Rest in peace. But true. But well, you know. I also indeed. Hearing voices, huh? Our robot is hearing voices. <laughs> uh huh. Got a minute? Jeez. Huh? That's right. Uh huh. All right already. Hey, so... Huh? You're still hung up on that, huh? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, 
stop it. Shut up! All right already. It's a lie. Damn. Please wait. Uh -huh. It it wouldn't be a small cricket, would it? Just just ask him. On your knees. You're so dumb. Could be. That is not funny. Mm. And Himiko is still completely out of it. She's broken. Okay. Ten of us left, and after the trial, there will be one less. More than likely, anyway. Terry Kruzma, down. Down, down, down into the black. Uh oh. Somehow I don't care if one of them sad. <laughs> now then. Extreme. A lot more red this time. Okay, not on that page. Well, let's see, because Monodum went literally with Nom 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 on the key that we could have unlocked and locked uh, Angie's through uh, Angie's lab at will with, and gave somebody the opportunity to create the locked door murder in the first place. That's why. <laughs> 